Hey boys and girls, my name is Regina Rejoice. Can you say that with me? Regina Rejoice. And I'm a YouTuber. And today my YouTube video is going to be a makeup challenge. So let's get to it. See, I'm gonna put some over here and I'm gonna put some over. Yes? Regina, grandma's ready for you. Oh no, I've gotta get ready fast. Okay, okay. Huh? Huh? What happened? Did someone turn out the lights? Oh my goodness, Regina, what? You have glitter all over your face. And the boys and girls are here. Boys and girls, we are so excited that you're here with us today for our brand new series called Subscribe Now. We are learning all about Jesus and what he came to teach us. And if you're new, we're so excited that you're here. We send out mail to all of our friends. We send special things in that mail. We do not send glitter. Thank <laughs> goodness. <laughs> we send letters, we send prizes, we send color sheets. You're gonna love it, boys and girls. And all you gotta do if you wanna be on that list is text in your name and the word new to the number on the screen. Regina, we need to get you cleaned up so we can properly introduce you to the boys and girls. Boys and girls, we hope you enjoy our brand new series called Subscribe Hi. Now. mean people in my video. Hey guys, my name is Regina Rejoice. Can you say that with me? Ugh, forget it. I'm really annoyed today because I was watching my video and there's a ton of mean comments on it. I know you guys are my awesome followers and you're always there for me and you subscribe, 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 subscribe. Ugh, I don't even want to do the subscribe dance today because I'm so irritated. Why would they post all those mean things about me? Why would they say those things are not true? I have been so enjoyed learning about Jesus with you guys on my channel. I have loved it. It's been so much fun. But it's, it's just so easy to be so mad. I'm so mad. Do you guys think that today's lesson will help me? I do too. I guess I'll go watch more and go read more mean comments. See ya. Hey boys and girls, my name is Manny and I am so glad to be here with you today for our series, Subscribe Now, where we've been talking all about who Jesus is and how we can subscribe or follow what he came to teach us. And subscribing is easy, right? All you gotta do is click the button on the screen, if you're on YouTube. But in real life, true connection and following someone takes a little bit more than that and we've been talking about that. Have you guys seen my friend Regina? I'm kind of concerned about her because I was watching her video and there's some really mean stuff on there. People wrote about her, so I wanted to... Oh, she's sad? Oh no. I knew she would be sad, but I hope we can help her. And actually, that reminds me, let's get our big idea button and see what the big idea is for today. I'm hoping it can help her. Okay, but I need your guys' help too. I need you to do like a drum roll with your feet. Can you do this? Okay, ready? Keep doing it. On the count of three, I'm gonna hit the button. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! I love this button, it's so cool. It says, the message of Jesus is powerful. Can you say that with me? The message of Jesus is powerful. Great job. Well, before we go further, I wanna pray with you guys, so if you guys can get nice and quiet for me and close your eyes. God, I thank you for this day. And I thank you for all the boys and girls that are joining us today. I ask that you be with them as they go through their week. Be with us today as we learn about you, Jesus. And we thank you that you're so powerful and that you are willing to come down to earth and die on the cross for us. And we thank you that you rose again and that we're able to learn about you today. And in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we've got one song coming up for you, and then we'll be back. And our song is about who else? Jesus. We'll be back right after the song.
Great job, boys and girls. Okay, so we're gonna get right into our story today. So we've been learning all about Jesus and all these amazing, powerful, wonderful things that he did. And he was so amazing that he had crowds of people that would follow him around. But he had this special group of people that followed him that were called his disciples. And one day he was walking around and somebody was being not so nice to him. And I want to read you a little bit about that story. So we're going to open our Bibles and we're going to be in the book of Mark. So we're going to be in the New Testament. So it's Matthew, Mark. So the book of Mark, and we're going to be in chapter one. So the first book, so big number one and little numbers 21 and 22. Let's read. Jesus and his followers went to Capernaum. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue and began to teach. The people there were amazed at his teaching. He did not teach like their teachers of the law. He taught like a person who had authority. Now, I want to tell you the rest of that story, but I think it will be much better if you guys watch how the rest of that story went. And I think you'll be pretty amazed at what happens next. So we'll be right back after this video. It's time for our Bible story. We've been talking about how Jesus started gathering his disciples or followers, right? Right. But lots and lots of people started following Jesus around everywhere. Why? It was because Jesus was not like any other teacher in the whole world. Jesus was very wise, but he also had the power to heal people and to do other amazing things. One day, Jesus was teaching a group of people when someone came and started to make a scene. A scene? He was making a lot of noise and chaos and disturbing the teaching. Why would he do that? Well, the man was not well. He didn't know what he was doing. So what did Jesus do? Jesus shouted, but not at the man. He talked to the illness that was inside the man. He said, be quiet, come out of him. Then what happened? The man began to shake and then stopped suddenly. Whatever was bothering him on the inside went away. The man was healed and it changed his life completely. Wow, that's amazing. That's what everyone thought too. They were used to hearing about God's word through many teachers, but they had never seen a teacher so powerful that even invisible things obeyed him. I'll say. People started telling everyone what they had seen Jesus do. After that, many more people began to follow and believe in Jesus. Wasn't that amazing, boys and girls? And I love that story because it shows us that Jesus loves and cares about everyone, even the people that are not so nice, like how that man wasn't saying very nice things. Jesus still showed him love and he still cared for him. And I think, I love this story because I think it can help our friend Regina kind of learn a little bit more about how she can work through her problem today. So after our Bible verse, I'm going to go grab her and see if we can help. All right, so our Bible verse, I'm sure you all know, is in the book of John, and it's in chapter 14, so big number 14 and little number 6, so 14, 6. And it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Regina, you're here. Yeah. What's, what's the matter? Well, you saw those comments on my page, my channel. Oh, I did. And I was telling the boys and girls about that. I'm sorry. That's hard, but I have something that I think will cheer you up. I heard it's your birthday on Sunday. How did you know that? Regina, you made a video about it last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, open it up. This is for me? Yes. I'm so excited. I love birthdays and I love presents. It's gonna be awesome. Oh wow, this is one of those uh, Jesus Bibles, right? It is, yes, and I use mine all the time. I love it because it helps me when I'm sad, it helps me when I'm happy, it helps me when I'm angry, and I wanna show you a special verse that I think can help with your situation. So, can you go, and if you wanna find a verse in the Bible, you go to the very front to the table of contents, okay? And then you find the book that you want. So we want Ephesians, which is in the New Testament. So that's on page 1541. So let's turn all the way to 1541. So it's in Ephesians chapter four, verse 32. Be kind and compassionate, 
forgiving one another, just as in Christ God forgave you. Wow, that does make me feel a little bit better, but all those people, they, they wrote all those mean things about me. Does, does God still want me? Yes, God loves you. And that's why he sent his son Jesus down to earth for us to die on the cross, to rise again, because he loves us and he sees us so much differently than the world sees us. Thank goodness. Well, I remember last week when Mr. Bubba was saying to pray this prayer and, and I didn't know what that meant and I was scared and, and I, I was nervous. I, I didn't know what that meant. I'm glad you said that and that you were honest because I bet some of the boys and girls feel that way too. And you know what? It's okay to feel that way. But that special prayer that Mr. Bubba said and that he was talking about, it doesn't have magic words in it and nothing scary is gonna happen to you after you say it. What matters is what's happening in your heart. And when we say those words and when we say that prayer, what we're saying is that we're sinners and that we do things that we shouldn't do and that we need Jesus' help to change. Well, will you pray that prayer with me now? I'm, I'm ready. I will. And boys and girls, if you've ever felt that way and you are ready to pray the prayer now, all you got to do is repeat after me and you can repeat in your head if you want to do it quietly or you can say it out loud. It's up to you. But just repeat after me, okay? God, I know that I'm a sinner. God, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I do things wrong. I know that I do things wrong. But Jesus, I believe that you came to earth for me. But Jesus, I believe that you came to earth for me. For the forgiveness of my sins, not yours. For the forgiveness of my sins, not yours. Because you're perfect. Because you're perfect. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And that you rose again and that you're in heaven waiting for me. And that you rose again and that you're waiting in heaven for me. Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. And my very best friend. And my very best friend. I pray all these things in your name. I pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Great job, Regina. <sighs> wow, I feel so much better. Did any of the boys and girls out there pray that with me? I wonder, boys and girls, if you prayed that prayer, we want you to let us know. If you're in person, tell one of us, tell your leaders. Or if you're online, text in your name and I chose Jesus to the number on the screen. We want to hear from all of you because we send something special out because we're excited. There's a celebration in heaven and we want to be excited and celebrate with you too. And Regina, I am so thankful that you've been here with us for this series and helped us learn all this amazing stuff about Jesus. And boys and girls, we want you to remember, no matter what, that Jesus loves you and we do too, okay? Bye-bye, we'll see you next Bye. week.